In June 1989, student-led anti-corruption protests had been going on for weeks in Beijing and nationwide. The protesters called for democracy, freedom of the press, and freedom of speech. Anger had been fueled by the death of the pro-reform Communist Party leader Hu Xiaobang. Students felt his heart attack was due to his forced resignation. That prompted them to gather in large numbers. The Goddess of Democracy statue became a central point for them as they occupied Tiananmen Square. Tension built with the students branded anti-party and anti-government. A hunger strike increased support for them. The government turned out to be divided on how to respond. However, hardliners gained the upper hand. Premier Li Peng announced martial law on the 20th of May and mobilized army divisions across the country. Two weeks later, the order was given to use any means to clear Tiananmen Square and areas occupied by protesters. They did so on the 4th of June, a day now associated with one person in particular, a protester nicknamed Tank Man who came to symbolize defiance against authoritarianism. His name is not known. It is not known if he survived. When I see the picture of the man standing in front of the tank, I'm so proud for all Chinese people. It's the most essential way to show the whole world that the Chinese have the spirit of freedom. The death toll 30 years ago is not known though it's put in the hundreds, possibly more. There was a subsequent crackdown on protest. Since June 1989, any political movement taking on the ruling Communist Party has been curbed. The events of Tiananmen are known worldwide, but far less so in China itself.